Guess who's back? Back again. Hola, oh my god. Hola, oh B. Hi. I'll just. How y'all doing? <sighs> Hi. Wow. It's been a while. Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, aka Brad. You thought. But guess what I didn't say? That's the old, and we're in with the new. I guess the new comes with a new accent. I've been watching a bunch of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Team Bimini, by the way. Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, aka your favorite black cooter in the universe. That's such a cute intro. Shut up! If you cooter size me, you're anti black. Hi, I'm back, and thank you. I'm back, and thank you. I'm back. This is the video that is going to break the camel's back. Hi, I'm Brittany. I'm back. The universe was telling me to come back today. Yeah, it really did. Can you believe that I did this makeup in less than 30 minutes? I'd say it's not bad. It's not my best, but 30 minutes. Can we also give a round of applause to the grind that I have to go to the thrift store 30 minutes before I had to drive to my class just so I can get more stuff to then film a video right after I got back from class. Obviously did some makeup. Look cute, by the way. The fact that I haven't been given an honorary doctorate by Goodwill in thriftology, I'm still confused. I'm waiting. Good things come to those who suffer, you know? I've suffered enough. Genuinely, I've suffered. Give me my kudos and money. Today will be a video that I haven't done in years and I also haven't done ever thrift hauls before. I've done about two or three. Back whenever I thought that I could emulate Emma Chamberlain and then I realized that no, is it style or is she conventionally skinny and some of the things that she wears just is good. No hate on her. Some stuff that she be wearing, mwah. But put it on a medium sized person. I don't think that works. So it took a while and I have found a style that I like. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. I mean, I post literally anything that will show my tits, my ass, my beautiful face. Also, if I know how I'm going to edit this video by the time I'm finished with it, then I have already inputted the card about the Fair Fight initiative. The link will be down in the description. Stacey Abrams has organized a initiative, an organization called Fair Fight. It's to fight voter suppression within all the states, but specifically Georgia. Georgia uh, put out very interesting laws that hit the black and brown community pretty hard when it comes to voting rights and voter laws and just voting in general. Um, they're still pressed that Georgia looks so good in blue. I know. That will be down in the description and other resources that I can find to also help and other things just to make you guys aware. I feel like the more that our generation is more aware, the more that we are able to make a change in the future. I haven't done a try on haul before, which is what I was getting to previously. I've done hauls when I thought that I could make anything look good. I've never a try on haul before mainly because like you have to put clothes on and then take them off i want to do it now because one of the things that i have gotten really into is my depop shop i sell mainly y2k inspired things some things are authentically from the 2000s some things are not my y2k style is not a niche set of y2k preppy pink paris hilton it's not so much street fashion it's kind of like everything and i thought it would be a really good kind of like cross promotion creating more content for youtube that i am also able to enjoy and do something because i haven't it's been a while i haven't seen you guys in <laughs> wow like a year um wait that's depressing <laughs> anyways i'm gonna shut up and i'm gonna start getting into the haul right whenever i told my dad that i was going to the thrift store he was like oh i could do the whole like we have like a system a little bit later on i will have another thrift haul because whenever i go to this specific thrift store i buy a lot and if you're wondering about the system, um, if you have a parent or guardian or friend who is above the age of, I think, 55? What's the senior citizen age? So my dad is older than 55. And what we do is we go on Wednesday, which is usually a senior citizen day. And I spend like an hour, two hours looking through everything, picking everything out. And then he comes in with his ID and um, his credit card. I'm his only daughter, so. <laughs> credit card and we get 50% off our entire purchase. That will be fun. I will do that try on haul. I figured that people like try on hauls more than just being like, hi. Anyways, I've been talking for a little bit too long and we need to get into these clothes because while it's not a lot, 
I have a lot to say about them because I'm in love with a lot of these pieces. This is not in any particular order. I'm just gonna grab and go. I grabbed. We're gonna go. So I have an infatuation with purses. I used to have a purse wall. I decided I wanted to change it. So I changed it and then it didn't work there. And then I wanted to put it back, but then it didn't work there either. So that was cute. So that was cute. Mommy, be quiet. I will always be in the purse section. For some reason, people be throwing away purses that are really nice. But this one, whoever threw this away, jail sentence. I mean, obviously, because I have it now, I'm like happy. But this is so cute. Those mini purses are becoming really popular. A lot of people are liking mini purses because they're realizing that we don't put stuff in purses, really. I mean, your mom puts half of the Western hemisphere inside of her purse. You personally, how much stuff do you put in a purse? I'll put my phone and my keys. And you know nowadays a mask and so having these mini purses are just great i have a whole freaking i'm just looking at them and realizing i have a problem i never realized how much i needed a black purse after i kept buying like brown and green and multicolored purses i think i have a liz claiborne purse on my website and it's technically a mini purse but it's more of those longer ones the other purse that i have is this one it's kind of worn it has some areas where it's like a bit darker up here but it's such a cute purse as it's not just a regular old purse it's kind of like a wallet credit card stuff in here now i've never actually worn this out a lot of my purses i think i have the thing where it's like i would i just like looking at the purses not really using the purses i realize people are really into slip dresses i even took some pictures from my instagram this one is more risque of a slip dress because it's see-through on top of the fact that it's see-through has these nice light ruffles on top of that it has this accent tie and on top of that it has these stick Ditch jaguar cheetah print patches on them so this i don't know if this is a dress i'm sure i'm 5'3 so whenever you see me in it it's gonna be weird because it's like is it a dress also i like the thing where people do stuff on the inside where they put kind of like a bikini this could be a cover-up like a black high-rise thong i think i'm just gonna do all the slip dresses because it's just easier to do all of them that slip dress was a size medium don't let the instagram fool you it doesn't fit me how it fits me on instagram I tied it in the back. But my idea of doing that is to kind of show people who have a bigger body type that this is what it could look like if you purchased it. Does that make sense? Remind me of like the ones that you see on Shein because it has that white lace. I think this is cuter because the material on this is nicer than the one on Shein, which is gonna be confusing when I show this one, but I think this is an extra large. It doesn't have an actual tag. And then the last slip dress is this. I'm just gonna say it this gives me what i thought that i wanted to look like when i had my emo phase the the dark pink and the black mix so well together while this does say an extra large it fits me pretty well and i am like i said a large medium it is really nice i have not tried it on without a bra because i just feel like i would be compromised y'all ain't catching me slipping i will slip on my own titty it's just so low this is actually a size 2x this is a large extra large this ain't a 2x anyway but this is in a size large and it's this not only does it have like these sequins inside of the flowers I used to hate sequins then I realized I hate sequin tops like complete sequin I don't want to be a mermaid Plie, I'm not her I'm all Ricky you know I am an ordinary girl <laughs> I hope people get these references I'm not no, I'm ordinary, miss. What I also like about this is that it kind of has a theme. The shirt has a theme of Roma, Italy. And it says Roma on the back. Yeah. It's like a mullet, but it's not a mullet. Uh, names of the, I don't know flowers, so I'm not going to tell you what they are. For anything that I see, I would just call a rose, but I know that's not a rose. I just want to get this out of the way. I'm not going to be able to put this on because I can't or it will break. I have this Fashion Nova denim jumpsuit, right? The, the jean part, the bottom part is a skinny jean. It's brand spanking new. It's so beautiful and I wish I could fit it. I, I put the pants on when I first got it and I was going to take a picture of it. Legs said stick figure. 
here. I was stuck for a second, so I had to take them off. I have a few skirts from my other trip to the thrift store. I've never had a skirt like this too, so that's why it just interests me. Faded Glory has made this beautiful bohemian type of like, back when I was in middle school, they used to call this Aztec print, and I don't wanna call it Aztec print because I feel like, I feel like that's weird to just be like, oh my God, look at this Aztec print. Yeah, but like when you think about Aztecs, you then realize that they were just wiped out by colonizers and it's like, do we really want to like, yeah, we wiped you out, but like we named a print after you. You know, so it has this triangular print, it has a double slit, and I've never had something with a double slit before. So it looks like it's a hard stiff in the front, right? But in actuality, it's stretchy on the back. So this is a size large, which fits sizes 12 to 14. It conforms to body type. So it's not just she's an hourglass and I'm going to wear this. It's like, no, you can be an hourglass, a pear, a triangle, a parallelogram. You can be all of that and still wear it because this conforms to your body as long as you're a size large. I got these thinking that I could fit them and I could have like a little school girl moment, but they don't fit me. So here I was getting this mini skirt. I love mini skirts. I want half of my ass cheeks to come out. You know, it's the breeze you get is really nice. It's one of the ones that have a zipper, but it's also pretty stretchy. I just realized this. This is in the size medium. And then the next mini skirt I have is this. I'm thinking this is a sports mini skirt and it's also in a size medium. One of the things that really got to me was the fact that it was also a ruching one. So you can like tie, I can't do it right now, but you can scrunch it up. It also has shorts on the inside. I was thinking that it was kind of like a IMG type of dupe where it's like, okay, IMG. If you're wanting me to pay $80 for a white stretchy skirt, I can find another one. Okay, this is interesting. I found this dress and I could not figure out anything about it to save my life. It's a beautiful dress. I don't know about you guys, if anybody else is a Depopper, but I follow the Depop subreddit. I asked them, I have this dress that I know nothing about. What do I do? How do I find pricing for it? I don't know. I still haven't figured out a price for it because it's kind of hard. I'm a person who likes doing very affordable things like I don't want to make my prices so high where it's like nobody's gonna buy them and realistically speaking the people who are my peers you guys are mainly high school college around that area and do you guys have money to purchase something that's like $50 for this so I try to make it like reasonable but then I also have to make a profit off of it and then I also on top of that have to realize that I can't just sell Jordans for the price of Skechers you know I say all that to mention that this is by a brand called Bisu Bisu. That's why I'm saying it in my uh, African French accent. I just hope it's French. As I looked it up, a couture brand. Their stuff is expensive, but I can't find this particular dress. Um, So I'm thinking that it was a part of their older lines. And I'm really intrigued why a person was just like, yeah, I'm just going to donate this. It's a size 10 and this also has 5% spandex. What is this brand? Oh, Oh yeah, the brand Papaya, I've never been inside of a Papaya store. Pretty sure one of my cousins used to work at Papaya. This, it's just basically like a Forever 21. Personally, I like guava. I'm not gonna lie, the fabric is one of those things where it has those like, you feel the fabric and the fabric is kind of like rough to the touch. And it's because the fact that it has these silver things inside of them. I'm gonna show you the top without a bra. Am I going to shoot myself in the foot and show you guys my deflated titties? Yes. I don't know why, but it has two straps, which I I guess it's a thing like do you put one over here do you want but it has two straps and it's very body forming and I'm pretty sure if this is a size I don't know I'm so confused how these things don't have sizes I'm pretty sure this is a size medium or a large this is a medium then I'm gonna say it's a medium if you guys get confused with anything I have a tape measure so if you guys have any questions about sizing do not hesitate to message me I always answer nicely to I answer nicely I'm not one of the people who's like well you had a bad day. Let's turn it around. On the stuff that I got today before I went to class. So I literally had 30 minutes and I just wanted to get things to put on my shot because recently for the past two weeks, I've been doing pretty well. Yesterday of filming, yesterday I sold three things and I was like, ooh, I need to put more so it doesn't look like I don't have anything. And so I went here just to find a few things and I ended up finding a few more things than a few. Ooh, there was a black one. I know I'm gonna hate myself for not getting it, but I didn't get it. and. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know if I'm selling this or not. This maxi skirt, A, guys. 
who else is loving the brown trend? I love that people are now embracing the color brown because it's such a beautiful color. I mean, look. I know this is like considered like khaki or whatever, but the brown trend is it. Just look at the melanated skin and how it meshes with the other brown. Brown skin. Anyways, maxi skirt in the size medium. Is this brown lace, which is A. I don't know about you guys. I like lace. I know some people don't like it because it makes some stuff look old or something. I guess that's the little thing that they talk about, but I like lace. Um, It also has a skirt, like a mini skirt insert. Oh yeah, it has an elastic at the top, so it just brown skin i don't know why i got this it just intrigued me and even the ladies who are checking me out were intrigued by it and they thought it was cute but this top is so nice it says spring with the flowers and then it says summer with the vibrant red color and i think this would be so cute personally i'm not a person who does this you know how you see like these cropped button-ups with maxi skirts or midi skirts i think that is a really cute look and it, it i don't know it just something about about it i think it's the fact that flowers are there the red is such a vibrant color the buttons are this like really cute maroon i would say that this is a large i have this basic tee i realized that a bunch of people just like the basic tees with nice graphics on them so once again i found this kind of y2k inspired graphics tee remember the time where you were just like yeah i want that top and it had like flowers and all of a sudden you have one of those like saints crosses it's a bunch of jumbled mess but somehow they've tied it together that's what these tops remind me of i would just wear this with boot cut because i did not stop wearing boot cut jeans until i was in high school true story i stopped because now i only wear boot cut jeans <laughs> anyways this is a size extra large oh it's by i don't know who it is but i know the brand i don't know who kim rogers is oh i found this and i thought that was really cute once again another basics because i love i just like basics i like solid colors i'm a person where my favorite type of eyeshadow palette is a neutrals palette the christine dominique's neutrals palette that that is like iconic to me it i it do not call me boring i will be doing an updated makeup routine i know some people have been asking me for it on instagram because i really like how my makeup looks let's get back to the clothes um this is actually a size small which i'm is this a small oh i forgot i got this <laughs> i got another slip dress okay 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 but like look at this one though i don't know why i like these they're just great what size is this this is a size medium and it's by a brand called gilligan and o'malley which I don't know. A mini slip dress, might I add. Be mindful if you are taller. And it's this, it's the satin feel to it. I wanna put my face on it, but like, no. This actually is from the kids section and I couldn't believe that it was from the kids section because whose child's arms are this freaking long? This is longer than my arm. Um, when I see like an extra large for kids, I'm most likely gonna think it's like a small or a medium. I just liked it because I knew, I know you know what I'm about to do with it. It's a crop top now. It was for kids but it's a crop top it's this like tropical little thing pair it with another pink skirt you pair it with some flare pink guys this is just so cute i saved this last item because wow very surprised that i even found it and i'm actually surprised that i'm gonna sell it because i really want to keep it i think it's mainly like the butt part that's getting to me yeah that's a u.s size four but i have this bikini i'm not gonna do a try on haul for the bikini um because a this is a size four pant i can't fit size four I've never been able to fit a size four since I was about four. This is a misguided brand spanking new bikini. The bikini top says that this is a size US 30 triple B. Anyways, that is the end of my try on haul. Thank you guys so much for um, being patient with me. Patience is a virtue. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day, night, afternoon in life. I'm gonna go eat some chicken with my new bottle of chick-fil-a sauce ever since they made that big old eight ounce bottle i've been having a dream <laughs>